After years of delays, millions in federal funding is on the way to help continue efforts to get a flood-prone Floyd County town above water. This week, Representative Hal Rogers announced nearly $15 million will go toward the Town of Martin Redevelopment Project. The congressman says the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers will use the money for a couple of new community buildings to be built above the floodplain. WIMT's Matthew Rand has more. Oh, it's, it's terrible when it floods. It gets in all... Martin City Councilman James Reynolds remembers the last big flood that devastated homes and businesses across Floyd County on Mother's Day weekend 2009. It destroyed a lot of homes. A lot of people after that one got discouraged and, and moved out of town. Years after the redevelopment plan began, the Martin Volunteer Fire Department sits alone on land cleared beneath Faria Mountain. Some in the community wonder if the project will ever be completed. I think it's a joke. They can't believe that somebody came in here with that idea. Reynolds says he and other city leaders hear their frustration and ask for patience. We understand sometimes uh, with the downturn of the economy, Hopefully with things going the way they are now, uh, money will continue to come through and we'll get more things done. The funds will be used on the new Floyd County Alternative School, as well as to build a new home for Town Hall and the Martin City Police. Reynolds says the nearly $15 million investment will go a long way to revitalize the town. For our community right here, it's a, a huge deal. Hopefully we'll get uh, a lot of jobs in the construction and, and it'll help the whole community. When the work is complete, Reynolds says he hopes to see a thriving community protected from danger when the waters rise. In Floyd County, Matthew Rand, WYMT Mountain News. The project is cost shared with 95% federal and 5% non-federal funding. The Corps of Engineers will invest nearly $13 million in the construction of the Floyd County Alternative School and $2 million into the City Hall and Police Building.